The Chamberlain Ranch outside of Chalice reached a harvest milestone this week. They just got in the last of the 2019 hay crop. We were able to glean, glean a new market that uh, has absolutely taken off for us. Gary Chamberlain farms on the border of the Frank Church Wilderness and packers packing feed have to have certified weed-free hay. Chamberlain found a lucrative niche market, cubing hay. We are actually putting our product clear into the Phoenix area, Sholo area, uh, over to Carlson and one thing or another. And what we found from customer, satisfied customers that have called us is they're very happy with the product because the hay they get is so stimmy that 25% or more of the hay is left in the manger. The horses won't eat it, but with the cubes, they eat all of it. So even though it's more expensive, they feel as if it's worth it. They're easier to handle. You can pretty much lift one of these up but the 80 pounders are a little heavier. The market for specialized hay is steady and strong and will even get better this winter. Um, right now we're selling certified hay for about 190 a ton. With the cubes, they've got to be certified because they go all over the United States. Uh, we still have quite a market for cubes clear on through the year and on into next summer when we'll have new product. With just a little bit of moisture in them, they form a cube like this, but when the animals eat them, they don't have any problem at all chewing them up. With the short growing season in high country, finding a lucrative niche crop is paying off for Chamberlain Farms. For the Voice of Idaho Agriculture, I'm Jake Button.